everyone and welcome back. Today I am here with Frank Martin. Do you want to introduce yourself really quickly? Hi, I'm Frank Martin. I'm uh, the Associate Director of Research here at JDRF and I lead the Beta Cell Regeneration and Survival Program here. Yeah, so definitely someone who's doing a lot for JDRF. You're going to be speaking at the Young Adult Conference in Orlando, mm -hmm. Florida yep. um, in October and it's your first time at this conference. It is. Which is really cool because you'll be able to, you know, talk to people um, just about all the research going on, all the updates, all the great things going on at JDRF. Um, so I just wanted people to kind of get to know you a little bit before you show up at the conference. I want to give people a taste of what they can expect from one of our um, speakers, someone who works you know, in research at JDRF. So what is your favorite piece of research going on here at JDRF. And I know that's probably hard to sure, probably sure. hard to pick, but something <clears throat> exciting going on here at JDRF. So there's always exciting things going on. We're, we're on the heels right now of the American Diabetes Association annual meeting. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of new news that came out. Um, even though I work in the beta cell side of things, I am an immunologist by trade and training. I really have to say that, that the data that came out from uh, the Tepluzumab study, where they used a drug Called, well, the drug targets something on your T cells called anti CD3. And for the first time, they showed that they could give people this drug and prevent them, or at least delay them, from getting type 1 diabetes, from okay. becoming insulin dependent. That was the first time that was ever shown. I really think that was pretty exciting. And it just means that next we'll be able to do it better and better and better. So we're really able to prevent the disease for the first time. Yeah, and that's amazing. It's huge. Yeah, huge. and I think we're seeing, we're yeah. just seeing so many. It, like studies like this come out and so many so much research coming out right now yeah. that is just impressive and that's 30 something years of work that has led up to that yeah. data we heard in june yeah and on the heels of that jdrf funded research is pushing forward more and more drugs so i'm hoping mm -hmm. by the time i see you guys in october there'll okay. be more things i can talk about we don't really realize just how long all these things have been taking place the science takes a long time a long research time. takes a long time yeah i before i came here i worked in pharmaceutical companies mm -hmm. and the normal drug development process takes at least 10 years from discovery to in the hands of a person. One of the great things we do here at JDRF is we're able to sort of step in and cherry pick the best research we see mm -hmm. so we try and accelerate that process right. so that the development time doesn't take as long. Mm -hmm. So what is what are one of, what's one of the biggest questions that you get about research or about just from from anyone whether it's like a volunteer or a donor what's what's a big question that you get so to be honest the, mm -hmm. the question i get most frequently doesn't actually have to do with research but rather people ask why do you work at jdrf why do you do what you do mm -hmm. and i like many of the scientists who work here i actually don't have a personal connection to type 1 diabetes i don't have a family member i have friends that have type 1 but that's not actually how i got the job I and my colleagues here are the best and the brightest in our fields. We're specialists in immunology or metabolism or engineering. And many of us have left the lab so that we could come here and have a job where we could really have more impact on public health. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for a person who has a PhD to feel a real impact on public health, to, to really feel that you're, what you're doing day to day is helping someone. Yeah. And JDRF, this role allows us to do that. Mm -hmm. We're able to have this bird's eye view of what's going on in the scientific field. And like I said before, we, we can cherry pick the best science and accelerate that into the hands of people living with type 1 diabetes. Yeah. So things I came across last year by just doing research, reviewing papers, I'm seeing those it's help people. It's place now, right? Yeah, they, it moves so fast. Mm -hmm. So it's an exciting place for scientists to work, especially since we can have an impact on people living with the disease right yeah. now. Yeah. So you speak at a lot of JDRF events. I've seen you at several public speaking. Um, is it difficult to kind of explain what's going on in research to you know your typical <laughs> someone in the type one diabetes sure. community? So, like I said, many of us had worked in companies or in academic labs where all day, all night, we are talking about science to other scientists. Right. So we're using jargon, we're using lingo mm -hmm. um, that we understand, but the general public wouldn't understand. When I started working here at JDRF, we were quickly taught that it's really important for us to be able to express to the people who are our donors, who are people who are living with the disease, what we're doing. And we want you to be able to understand 
the exciting science that's going on right now. So it's definitely something I had to learn. Right. Um, How to so communicate that. The way I learned or the way I was told was basically explain the science like you're telling your mom or your grandmother. Right. And that's what I do now. And I want people to understand yeah. what it is we're doing and what these mm -hmm. drugs are so that they right. can make better choices about what, what they're, they're going to choose. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so I think, and that's all the more reason why you being at the Young Adult Conference is important because I think yeah. even people like me, we, we want to know what's going on and I think sometimes it's a little just hard to understand um, and stay in the loop with that. So yeah. that's awesome that you'll be there. Um, so just letting you guys know, like I said, Frank is going to be at the Young Adult Conference in Orlando, Florida in October. I believe October 13th you'll I'm not be sure. speaking. I will, I will leave it all linked below this video. Um, I'll leave the whole schedule and everything below this video. So thank you so much for awesome. joining me. It was great speaking to you. I look forward to seeing yes. you guys in October. Bye, Thanks. guys. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Thanks.